Hello and welcome, and thank you for taking a few moments to drop in. It's Kristen Fry with Whippy Oshawa Honda, and today we've got a gorgeous, car-proof clean 2015 Honda Odyssey EX sitting before us in a modern steel metallic exterior. Equipped with projector beam halogen headlamps with auto on off, you're going to get LED tail lamps and gorgeous chrome detailing across the front grille. As you can see, you've got a great hood edge deflector which is going to be fantastic for deflecting debris on and off the highways. Pop open the hood, you've got an active 3.5 liter IV tech six cylinder engine made it to a six speed transmission with grade logic control. You're going to be expecting around 250 horsepower and foot pounds of torque. Coming down over to the side, we've got gorgeous 17 inch aluminum alloy rims that are in fantastic shape with zero to no rim rash whatsoever. Of course, you got front splash guards complementing that and disc brakes all around. We can't forget about these fantastic looking all season radial tires. Tons of tread left to go, so you'll be driving hilltops and highways for years to come. Awesome. Well, with this chrome detailing, we've got a rear DVD station that's waiting for us. Let's hop in, turn it up, and show you all around. And of course, helping you into your brand new Odyssey is the Smart Entry Proximity Key System, complete with lock, unlock, your remote door opener, and panic mode. Check out our video to learn a little bit more, and we'll be testing those door openers in a few moments time. Come with me. Open on up. Awesome. So taking a look, I love the two-tone interior on the driver door. We've got the black paired with the beige uh, interior there. Got a couple of different storage bins for bigger storage pockets. Maybe your cell phone up top. We've got full power amenities, doors, windows, locks, even including mirror adjustments. Speaking of mirrors, got a huge expanded driver view mirror. That's going to be super handy for parallel parking and reversing. And stepping into the interior, we've got a 10-way power heated driver seat with an 8-way power heated passenger. We've got the upgraded fabric, which is fantastic, and it's super easy to keep clean. Awesome. Coming down here, you can expect your gas release and your hood release is just tucked into the center there with your e-brake right there. Got This is a little storage, perfect for Again, cell phone, if you carry some lip chap with you. And then we've got our door, automatic door opener. So if you don't want the door opener to work, simply turn it to off position. If you want it to be on, we turn it back to on. And then you've got your traction control, also known as vehicle stability assist. Before we hop in, I just want to point out our blind spot display. So what that does, you can either push the button at the end here or put the indicator on to signal that you're making a right hand turn and it automatically turns on an image on the upper screen letting you know what's happening on the right hand or passenger side. So let's step in, turn her on and show you the rest. So turning over the engine, I'm just using our push to start right here. We've got a very low 28,000 kilometers. So one thing guys is with this vehicle, you can use your toggle, which is down below to access this menu if you want to change the information. So I'll just go ahead and do that for us. So you can see your trip, your gas range, oil life, and of course your exterior temperature. Got your heating and cooling, RPM, speedometer, and again, your fuel consumption. The rest of the steering wheel is very straightforward. Over on our left hand side, a mode is going to change between what mode you're listening to. So AM, FM, uh, CD, or if you have an iPod connected, for instance, it'll translate through all of those. Volume up and down is obviously increasing or decreasing the volume. We've got the channel, which is going to allow us to go between our presets or tracks. Again, if we're listening to a CD or any type of connectivity. And then down below, we have our Bluetooth. Uh, now, we also have a hidden button right behind that that's actually going to access our upper screen. So when I touch it, it's changing the upper screen information and letting us see different things. So it's pretty cool that you can keep your hand on the wheel and still control this information over here. Right hand side, we've got our cruise control. Very straightforward. Behind the steering wheel, we've got these levers. So that's our lighting lever as well as indicators. So that's where you're, you'll signal. And again, that's where you have your blind spot display. So when we put it on to make a right hand turn, the image automatically pops up. But if I go ahead and push um, the end of the lever, again, it comes up and one push takes it off. So very easy to use. 
On the right hand side, you've got your windshield wipers, including the rear. And then right down below the steering column is where you're going to find your tilt and telescopic. Right there. So coming over to the middle console, we've already kind of gone through that upper screen. Um, but one thing I will show you guys is just down below here, this is the quick access menu. So if you do want to change what you're seeing on your upper screen, you can touch the button down here and it's automatically going to go to that screen. So right now we're on info, you can see trip info or clock wallpaper. We can go to audio or rear audio. So if you have a CD in, we can see it up top there. Coming down below, this was the menu I was using to access the upper screen. So whenever you're in, for instance, we can go to info. If I hit menu, it's going to call up the menu for that feature. So if I'm in audio and then I hit menu, it's going to call up the menu for the audio. Same thing if I'm in phone and I hit menu. Well, I don't have a phone connected, so it's not going to call it up. But naturally, once your phone's connected, it will call up the menu up top there. And popping back down here again, settings will just allow you to customize the vehicle to your liking depending on which setting. So one thing that's really, really cool, guys, is if you go into camera settings, you can actually change the guidelines. So if I go into reverse, you can take those guidelines off if you really don't want to see them. If you feel they're not helping you, take them off. Awesome. All right, directly below our upper screen, we've got our tri-climatized control system. So you heard me right, it's tri-climate. So we have driver versus passenger versus back seat. So if you don't want the backseat occupants to control their temperature, just simply put on rear lock. And now what this means is mom, dad, or basically passenger driver, they control the temperature in the back. We'll go ahead and take it off rear lock for now. If you do want to sync it, you can hit sync, and that makes all three the exact same, or take it off sync so that the passenger can control their uh, temperature accordingly. Got your heated seats from front passenger and driver. And then again, we've got our fan speed, direction of airflow and air conditioning, as well as our rear defrost and heated mirrors. This lower screen down here, pretty cool guys. If you have, say, your phone up top, you can always take this screen down below and keep it on your audio information so you could see what you're listening to and who you're talking to. Don't forget to ask your sales representative about Honda Link Assist and the benefits of that. Down below, again, this was our menu we were using to access the upper screen. And then this is where you're going to find the slot uh, for your rear entertainment as well as your USB and your power outlet and your auxiliaries right below with your super cool storage bin. I love this storage bin. I recommend keeping your beverages in here, guys. It's very easy to access, especially for the driver. Speaking of storage, we're coming into our cup holder and our huge console. Now you do have these armrests that move up and down for comfort. Now, not only can you store tons of stuff inside, but let's just say maybe you're the type of individual that you don't necessarily need all of this. You just prefer the floor space. We do have a little latch where you can actually take this out. So that's pretty awesome. Going in the passenger, same upgraded fabric and same storage as the driver door. And then we come into our locking glove compartment. So pretty cool. And we've got your wheel locks in there. And lastly, before we go check out second and third row seating, I just want to point out that whether it's mom, dad, driving, coworkers, daycare, we have a conversation slash babysitting mirror. See and hear everyone. Then you got your home link remote and your lighting system, of course. Well, why don't you come with me so we can check out second and third row seating. So using our smart key fob, we're just simply going to push and hold our remote door opener. Fantastic. Super easy and that'll be convenient if you have your hands full. Also got windows, power windows that come almost all the way down, accessible by the driver or those sitting in the back seat. Got pockets behind both rear driver and passenger, an additional set of cup holders. Speaking of cup holders, check out what's sitting in the door. Again, we've got them on each side. Got sun visors that are equipped with this trim level, adjustable headrests and armrests. And guys, I've done a couple of things. I've put this down so you can see the three additional cup holders. You've got a nice little storage bin. This does sit up and it staggers. So if you want to utilize the seating rather than the storage, go ahead and do so. The seats also widen. So I've widened that for us. So you can see the three inches versus when it's in the minimized mode. Latches, of course there's latches for days. 
just go ahead and poke this up. And one thing I want to point out is if you want to access the back seat, there's a couple of different things we can do. I'm going to go ahead and hit this lever though so it slides forward. We can hop in and show you that not only can you stagger second row, you can also stagger third row. Look how convenient that would be and how comfortable for those longer drives. Awesome. Got tons of cup holders, storage, and look, if we want to put on a DVD, we can even see it from the third row. My favorite feature. No one likes to sit in the third row and miss out on Disney movies. And check out this connectivity. Got an Xbox? Bring it along. Awesome. Well, there's really so much to show you about this Odyssey. We can't spend all of our time inside. Let's go check out the trunk. So entering into the trunk, we do have a latch that's just right under the Honda emblem. So you push and it's hydraulic so it lifts up and does the work for you. Y'all know I like my surprises. Surprise! Your carpeted mats not even taken out of the bag. Again, just to show you how new this vehicle really is. And again, you can see that staggered seat. You could stagger both of them. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to stow and go these. Keep in mind the mats are down there so it might not go all the way down. Awesome. One more time just for fun. So look at all of this space. With a removable second row, you can definitely fit plywood, drywall, some kayaks, camping gear, tons of stuff. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and check out second row and I'll show you one more trick of your new vehicle. So I'm not using the handle this time or the remote door opener, but look, it still opens on its own. So I showed you on the other side what that latch does, but if we go ahead and pull this one, watch. Awesome. So maybe you need just a little bit of extra room, but you still want to keep the chair in. You can do that. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure to have you with me as we walk through this Odyssey together. Give us a shout, click, call, or drop in by the showroom. Odysseys are super popular, especially with the kids gearing up going back to school. Come take this one out for a spin and you'll find you're parking it in your driveway in no time. It's Kristen Fry with Whippy Oshawa Honda. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a happy Honda day.